This first video comes from the NHL Network, where replays are analyzed for the safety of players and the accuracies of games. Here, we have the player in white, Alexander Ovechkin, launching himself at number four of the opposing team, Zbigniew McCulloch. This is an infringement of the charging rule. The player in white launches himself at the opponent and attempts to deliver a harder hit. After revision, the player was suspended for three games for putting his opponent in risk of injury. This second video illustrates the many camera angles the National Hockey League has to assure the referees whether the puck went in the net or it ricocheted off something. Goals like these happen in the blink of an eye, and the referees have to make split-second decisions. These camera angles reduce the controversies that might arise and produce the NHL accurate reporting. The last video shows two things. The first, the use of time lapse to ensure the goal occurred in the given time of play and also that the player's hockey stick doesn't elevate higher than the crossbar, which we would be considered high stick. Manual. Pockets clean. Got it. Touchdown. No incomplete. They wave it off. They wave it off and now there's a penalty flag comes flying. They wave it off. Kenny Shaw was the receiver. Right. He is down. This is Florida State football player Nick Vignone. He plays quarterback as well as safety for the team. Nick, what is your opinion on video replay in college football? Um, I think that any way the game can be improved, it should be. Which types of replay would you push for? I think that if the NCAA adopted a system similar to the NFL challenge rules, then the job of the referees would be made much easier. The system Nick is talking about is where each head coach can challenge the call of a referee. The call is then decided by the replay evidence. Exactly. The NCAA is moving towards this system, but it's so expensive to install all the cameras that some similar schools are against the move. Straight away, every single one of us said that's over, and it was over by a good yard. It wasn't close. It's not even close. Not even close. Not close. It's so over the line. It's unbelievable. I think How he's not seen that. I, I think, in, in fairness to the assistant, he can't be in line with that because of where the ball has come from. It's come from the edge of the box, so he can't be in line with it. He can't physically keep up with it. There he is on the right hand side. Look. He's, he's going to be 18, 19 yards away from it, so it's, uh, I think it's impossible for him to do that. But I haven't it's said that. You know, everyone, I, on the, I, everyone on the bench 50 yards away saw it was over the line. So he, he, he can't see all that. He's, that's unbelievable. Warren, uh, what is your title? I'm a soccer referee certified under the United States Soccer Federation and also FHSAA, which is a high school league. This is his uh, United States one. And then this is the high school badge. And uh, how long have you been refereeing? Um, close to seven years. I believe it's about six and a half. Um, what is your reaction to the England versus Germany game where the referee missed the call? Um, I think it was unfortunate, but with the technology that they had, um, they couldn't really do anything about it. Um, the ball obviously crossed the goal line, but um, the referees cannot move faster than the ball. So there's no possible way of them being able to decide whether it went in or not unless they have technology. Should soccer introduce goal line technology? Um, I don't believe so, but some people um, think that they should introduce it um, in order to avoid circumstances like the one uh, with the England-Germany game. I think if they do introduce it, they should maybe put a chip inside the ball and have sensors within the goal post so that when the ball crosses over the goal line, it can detect it that way. But um, I do not think they should put cameras on the back of the goal. And if it ever gets introduced, how long do you think it'll take? Uh, I could see it happening in the next couple of years or so. Right now, with the Champions League, they have um, they've added in two officials, uh, one on each goal line to decide whether the ball went in or not, and also to see what happens in the penalty area.